Before attempting to round numbers to a required degree of accuracy, make sure you're familiar with how to round numbers to the nearest 10, 100 and 1000. Once children are able to round bigger whole numbers, they will be asked to round any whole number to a required degree of accuracy. So to give you an idea what this is, I've taken one number 7,284,519 and we're going to round it to different multiples of 10 each time. For the first one, we're going to round it to the nearest 10. So we locate that 10's digit, which here is a 1, and then we look at the number that decides whether that 1 stays as 1 10 or is rounded to 2 10s. So we're looking at the digit in the 1's column, which is 9. That means we're going to round up. So 7,284,519 rounded to the nearest 10 will be 7,284,520. Going back to the original number, we're now going to round it to the nearest 100. We locate the number in the hundreds column and this is where I'm going to get you to pause the video and have a go. Having identified the digit in the hundreds column, we're going to decide does that stay as 500 or does it go up to 600. Look at the tens column, that's just a 1, which means this number will be rounded down to the nearest hundred. So when that 19 becomes 00, zero the 500 will stay the same. 7,284,520 Back to the original number, and this time rounding to the nearest thousand. Pause the video, have a go. Locate the thousand, which is four. The digit that will decide what happens to that four thousand represents five hundred. So we're going to round up. And that becomes seven million two hundred and eighty-five thousand. Going back to the original number, this time round to the nearest 10,000. Pause the video, have a go. Locate the 10,000, which here is 8, 80,000. That 4,000 is telling us whether we need to round up or round down. Because it's 4 or less, we're rounding down, so that 80,000 will stay the same when the thousand, hundred, ten and one become zero. Seven million two hundred and eighty thousand. Back to the original number. This time we're going to round to the nearest hundred thousand. Pause the video, have a go. In the hundred thousands column we have two hundred thousand. And in the ten thousands column we have 80,000, which means we need to round up. That becomes 7,300,000. Back to the original number one last time, and this time you're going to round to the nearest million. Pause the video, have a go. We have 7 million. In the hundreds thousands column, we have 2, which means we're going to round down. That 7 million will stay the same. 